this was another dream the lord gave me shalom family this was again on the 6th of april i had a couple of dreams on this day right and i was in this house it was like my mum's house but it wasn't my mum's house i was in somebody's mum's house my son was there and he was being really really cheeky now my son in general he is cheeky he's not rude okay but he's got me as a mum so obviously he's gonna be just a little bit not too cheeky i like just a little bit i don't like when children don't listen that's one thing i don't like it when they're rude and disrespectful my son's not like that anyway but there was this little cheeky child there and it was my son i believe it was my son and i'm saying to this i'm telling him off that i want to pinch his mouth that he's rude and i do say stuff like that and that he's rude and then there was like my granddad uh sorry not my granddad my stepdad like uh the child's granddad who was there to kind of support and try to you know take care of the child as well and um, what the lord was speaking to me is that it's very very important and i have to drill this again okay it's very important that you're teaching your children um in the way that they should go all right don't spoil them don't spoil them don't spare the rod and spoil the child especially boys recognize they are targets especially if you are in truth the enemy he's not just coming for you because he thinks yeah let's get her mother he wants the child especially a young man because it was prophesied that he would crush his head and we know we um the man was made in the image of christ yes we all were but the man is the authority and this is a little boy that i saw and i know it weren't my son because i would have clap him on his head if he was behaving misbehaving like that um so i know it's hard you know if you're the only mum, you're the only you're the woman in the home ask the lord to bring uh fatherly figures doesn't have to be the husband so put your you know just put your top up and behave yourself over there but father figures that are gonna be good father or good role models for your your son and have discernment you don't just oh finally the lord's brought someone no 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 <laughs> you need to like um what was his name gideon where he had specific things that he asked the lord to do have a relationship with him where you know okay lord i asked you to do this and i've seen this so this is confirmation if you're still not sure you know wait wait don't rush into anything but pray and ask the lord that he will bring father figures good role models into your life that will help you to teach your your son how to be a man even though you can't do that as a woman he's a he's a boy um and don't spare the rod okay the rod and the staff they come for us because when we get older as an adult it does but when we get older we have boundaries and we know okay this is my moral compass me me na na that you know you friend go do that if you want to but me i tan and i'm not following you anywhere i'm not a zombie that's gonna follow because everybody's doing this we don't want children like that okay we are set apart for a reason we are a royal priesthood for a reason we are a peculiar people for a reason so don't let your children be like the world okay you can't say that you know i'm this i'm a christian and i do this and you have some bad breed children bruck out children that's what i've also noticed a lot of the children that grow up in church i can't say a lot but it's sad that i've seen this um they grow up to be get into like homosexuality and things like that you gotta understand these children are targets and this is what i say to my son as well i try to make him understand exactly what we're dealing with here he is a target because he knows truth and he will step on the serpent's head he will crush it he will crush the serpent's head and you need to instill these things in your children that they understand we're not here to just play play all right there's some of you your children the lord is already said that is my first fruit they're gonna work for my kingdom they don't want to just be here in the pews i only care about salvation i don't want the lord to smite me no they came to burn down kingdoms of darkness in the name of jesus christ they're going to be militant warriors that know the god that they serve they don't care they'll be like gideon okay because gideon is who i'm thinking about right now where what was like the father's like leave tell some of those soldiers to go back so they don't think that you guys won this war they will know that it was me i sent uno i won this for you okay and that takes a level of faith and faith only comes through hearing the word of god so your children need to hear it daily and you need to drill it into their heads this is the way to go and um, if you don't have those kinds of boundaries that's why we see a lot of 
people that they lose their minds and you know they're just in a lot of things they forfeit their destinies they go with women that are jezebels are witches that don't have any standards the men i'm talking about don't have any standards for themselves there will be community guys out there dishing it out to everybody because that is nasty yeah people love to talk about gal that do that man who do that they don't have no standards no standards we don't want any of those we don't want our sons to grow up like that because they forfeit their destinies they take on spirits and these spirits want to ruin them they want it so they have no legacy no future nothing so we've got to make sure that we instill these things in our sons that they can see spiritually that they know don't tick up with no demon girl out there what are you doing no no thanks all right yeah i can pray for you i'm pray that demon out of you but you better tan over there come in a want you all right we're gonna raise them kind of men who are set apart set apart like that but um if they're not they're gonna be blown like this there'll be the zombies walking around anybody anybody i'll take anything you know we, we don't want that all right so we're raising men with standards that is a standard and their standard is set to christ you know like that but anyway that's what the lord told me to tell you don't spare that rod and spoil that child that's his child if you have not got your husband, your child's father in your life right now, that's his child. He is your husband. Your maker is your husband. You make sure. If that child is being rude, you, you, you tell it. Not it. But you, you give it to that child and make them know, look, I'm not going to spare no rod and spoil no child in my life. You're going to do this and you're going to do that. Recognize you're going to be a man, but you're, you must know you have responsibilities from this age. Um, but yeah, remember our children are set apart, okay? So we're not going to raise them like the world. They're going to be peculiar people. But you got to instill that in them from now. From now. Alright? And teach them spiritual things. They won't be able to understand everything. But teach them that the world we live in is not what you see. Make sure they pray. You pray Psalms 91 over them. If they're leaving the house, don't let them leave the house unless you prayed over them. Do not let them go to sleep unless you have prayed over them okay understand that our children are targets i could speak on things that i've seen that the enemy tried to do to my son okay they are targets it's your job right now to have the wisdom and you pray wisdom i release the spirit of wisdom i loose it as the bible tells us we have this power i lose the spirit of wisdom and understanding to encamp around me and i love the psalms 91 that's a divine protection prayer as i don't care i'm gonna pray it every day i know the scripture says don't do repetitious prayers but i'm gonna pray that every day that every spiritual wickedness and every fowler knows that this place is covered under the shadow of the almighty all right but yeah make sure your children know this all right get militant we're not playing a game here i honestly didn't say it to you again get militant and make sure you're not sparing that rod and you're teaching that child exactly in the way that they need to go okay all right chanel